2019 is shaping up to be a major year for cyber conflict. In the Eurasia Group's annual top risks report, cyber attacks rank number three. The analysis highlights threats facing the world in the new year. The U.S. is expected to take a harder stance on hackers and even target countries like Russia, China and Iran. But that could trigger possible backlash. So for more on this, let's bring in CBSN contributor Alex Clement. He writes for Signal, a newsletter produced by G Zero Media, a Eurasia Group company. All right. Thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. What are we, uh, week two of 2019 we, we now? Are week two. Okay, so 2018, we saw a lot of issues with cyber breaches, cybersecurity. I feel like every other month, there was another major and, breach that and, we were reporting on. And what's right? interesting is that the president of the United States of this country is focused on southern border wall security, mm -hmm. and we haven't heard anything in the last couple of weeks about this threat, yeah. about mm -hmm. this major threat that not only this country but others are facing, which seems to be a genuine one, mm -hmm. as opposed to one that's exaggerated regarding the southern Will border. Will anything change in Well, the, pres the president hasn't talked about it himself, but people in his cabinet take this threat seriously, in particular mm -hmm. John Bolton uh, is very keen on the cyber threat. And, and what our risk looks at is that this year we expect that the United States, has been ta which has been taking measures already, will go further with the idea that the United States States should be much more on the offensive uh, in terms of using its own cyber weapons, showing its own cyber power as a deterrent to other countries and non-state actors who may wish to attack the United States. Uh, the problem is that uh, deterrence can work when it comes to military hardware. In the cyber realm, it's a lot harder. Mm. Uh, for one thing, uh, most of the uh, uh, most dangerous actors in cyberspace are in fact non-state actors or quasi-state actors who are really hard to deter, right? It's hard to deter a guy in his, the 400 pound guy <laughs> in his base and whatever it was, right? Non-state actors are hard to deter. Uh, and also, uh, the other cyber rivals, nation state cyber rivals of the United States, the Russians, the Chinese, the North Koreans, the Iranians uh, are not likely to take this lying down. Cyber weapons are very different from conventional weapons. Yeah. If you have something that really works and is going to work well, it doesn't last forever, right? So there's a narrow window when you want to use it. Um, assigning responsibility for cyber attacks is very difficult. So it's in, in fact possible to carry out attacks without having your fingerprints clearly on them. So cyberspace is a lot messier than conventional war. There are no rules for cyber war. The U.S. is going to look to make a, a bid to deter cyber attacks against itself by using more force. The risk is that it opens a Pandora's box. Mm. 